there's a lot of work that has to be done in terms of making blockchains friendlier for large enterprises. Since really the start of Ethereum, uh, we thought that there would be convergence, bringing the business ecosystem that needed uh, privacy, confidentiality, security, usability towards the Ethereum technology. To build a blockchain system is to collaborate more fluidly, more effectively, and now more privately with many organizations in your value chain or in your ecosystem. The opportunity for blockchain is enormous in many different industries, and it's all about breaking down the informational silos between companies. We needed a always-on common frame of reference. And now we have one. That's what's happening today with Mainnet is we're starting to realize that it's a, just a practical component in business as usual to be able to create consistency and continuity between different systems of record. You don't want to give away all of the information to everyone in a supply chain. That's what baselining is all about, is, is being able to say, you know, can we find a way to use the public blockchain that um, you aren't exposing data that you're not giving away strategic intelligence to your competitors or to somebody with a good AI They can't develop classifiers on your uh, activities or your relationships. You don't have to take all the data that you had in your SAP system and move it to some new threat surface. No, leave it there. Now on a record by record basis, you can not only be certain of what you think you know, but you can be certain that your counterparties also know the same thing. All of these great traditional systems, um, SAP, Microsoft Dynamics, Oracle, Boomi, MuleSoft, middleware, database systems, systems of record, they have a good reason now to work with the public blockchain. The public blockchain will support more of what they already sell. And if you can do that, why not use the mainnet?